Okay, skipped all of us going to swimming on the vlog today because you've seen it a million times and it's the kids have gone to school. I have been to the mall trying to get new glasses and it didn't work out. I've got to go back tomorrow and uh, finish up with that. It is like, well, it's like 5.30. So it's time for dinner. At 5.30, I get to go see a camera It. That's true, but Calvin has company tonight, so you can't go over there. So we're gonna make this a really fast food vlog today. In the last vlog, a bunch of you were, oh, he switched sides on me. How'd you do that? A bunch of you were asking in the comments of the last vlog to, well, you wanted to see more food vlogs, like, like four of you asking that, and there were several of you that wanted the fried, wait, fried rice to be an episode. So we're gonna make some fried rice. Do you love my fried rice, mom? Is it so delicious, mom? So delicious. It's so delicious. So I'm gonna show you guys how we make the, how'd you? So I'm gonna show you guys how I make my fried rice. <laughs> so I've got a rice cooker here. I don't know, if you know how to make rice, you make it on the stove, that's fine. I like to use the rice cooker. And so Dominic is going to help me Dominic's gonna help me put, I've already put the rice, how did you? I've already put the rice and the water in there with the <laughs> pinch of salt. Gonna add some malt vinegar, some pepper, and some sugar. So after I get this going, then I'm just, I'm gonna do some dishes and stuff and then we'll be right back and I'll start cooking. I'll start cooking on the stove. And, <laughs> but in the meantime, I'm gonna do dishes. So see you guys in just a minute. Can you tell them bam? Bam. The dishes are done, and I took four chicken breasts and sliced them up into little pieces. They're actually going to get even smaller. So get out my big frying pan and add some canola oil. You could use vegetable oil or, you know, whatever oil. I want macaroni and cheese for dinner. You're not having macaroni and cheese for dinner. You're having, what are we making? Fried rice, all right. I don't I bring it, food. yes you do. All right, I bring it up on hot. So let that get heated up, and then I'm just gonna add all that chicken to the pan. Okay, our oil is really hot. Uh, just, it was an instant of time for you, but in the meantime, I had to run down and get Hudson. Her water was done, and she was getting mad anyway. So brought her up here. Shiggy Bear, can you smile for the vlog? Maybe? Probably not. <laughs> she says, I, I'm no dancing monkey. Okay, smile for the vlog. Hey, good smile. All right, I'm gonna throw the chicken in. This pan is super hot. Stay back, buddy. Okay, let that go for a second. Make sure if you've been touching chicken, wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Okay, hands are cleaned up. All right, that chicken is going. Gotta get it moving around like four small chicken breasts. Okay, a little more brown. There's still a little pink left in there. I'm gonna add a nice big pinch of salt and then we're gonna hit it with some black pepper. Uh, accent, that is MSG, don't be afraid of it. Just add a little bit. A little bit of garlic. And some onion powder. Now, I add a lot of onion powder to mine because I like the taste of onions, but I don't necessarily want onions in my fried rice. So I actually would suggest to you, if you like onions, just chop up some green onions and throw them in. But still, I would season your chicken while it's cooking with some onion powder. And then two more very important things, and this I have two favorite curry powders. This one for more savory, like actually cooking Indian dishes that you want to make. And then there's the Trader Joe's. And this curry powder is really good on vanilla ice cream. Huh, Mom? Uh. Trader Joe's curry powder, what's it best on? Vanilla ice cream with 
So add a little bit of the Madagascar in here and some, oh, I gotta find the ginger. Okay, there we go, I had to find the ginger. It was up in the back, it's, it's tiny, it's hard to find. I, uh, I use powdered ginger for this recipe. Like I said, this is the easy fried rice. Now you can use real onions and some real ginger. That is, oh, I hear the rice cooker is done. Okay, that's nice and browned. I'm gonna move it now to a bowl. Pull it off the heat. Now I like to scrape that little bit of extra burnt out of there. And go ahead and add it in there. Okay, now I'm gonna add a little more canola oil along with a chunk of butter. And then I'm gonna crack four eggs in here. Let them go for just a second. Add a little pinch of salt over the top of them. And once that guy, yeah, now's about the time. I'll break the yolks. And then start moving. Start moving it around. Get it all worked in a circle here. Worked in that, get that butter worked into it. You want to really go quick and then it's right about now when you when you're not really seeing any runniness anymore there's a little bit of runniness left I'll give that a flip and that a flip scrape some of that extra off the bottom and then I'm gonna drop that into its own bowl and that egg and butter and oil should have picked up quite a bit of that seasoning out of the pan. Oh, Hudson's out. Normally I have the pre-cooked chicken and it's in smaller pieces, so it's a lot easier. But this one, when I use regular chicken breast, I'm gonna chop it up so that I've got nice small chunks. And then, why? I don't know why I put the butter away. I meant to get more butter out. By the way, if you buy butter, always use real butter. Margarine, country crock, all that stuff, that's not butter, that's plastic. <laughs> but if you're buying butter, real butter, get the unsalted because you can always add salt to butter. Okay, I'm going to just dump this chicken right out and start chopping. You just want small pieces of chicken. If you ever had fried rice from a Chinese restaurant, you know the approximate size you want your chicken to be in it. You don't want big, huge chicken nugget size chunks. This is an easy recipe. And this part right here is probably the only hard part. <laughs> okay, that's the kind of chop that you want to have on it. Now I'm gonna move it back into the pan. We're gonna have to work quickly. Okay, we're gonna want some bouillon. And I suggest better than bouillon. You can use whatever kind of chicken bouillon you want. But I love this stuff. Just need a little bit. Three quarters of a cup of water. Give it a stir. I'm gonna throw that in the microwave so that it, uh, well, so that it dissolves. Okay, the bouillon is done. That is one of the first things to have prepped and ready to go for our final steps here. By the way, this is a lot easier when you're not trying to move a camera into all these different spots. And then some frozen peas and carrots, and I just zap them in the microwave. carrots ready to go okay it's assemble time all right you want to get your heat going again I bring it up on high add a dollop of butter some coconut oil that's not enough a little more that butter and coconut oil playing nice with each other okay chicken goes in. Get that moving around a little bit. I forgot one ingredient earlier, but it's okay to add it late, which is some cayenne. We like to spice ours up, put some heat to it. When I make fried rice, I make enough so we can eat it for two or three days. 
So this is a big batch. If you're by yourself, you know, like, make enough for you. But this stuff is really good left over. It lasts for days. I'm gonna make a pocket in the middle here. Add in our peas and carrots. All right, I feel like maybe we got a little brown on those peas and carrots. Mix it all around. Then we're gonna add the most important part of chicken fried rice. You would think it would be the chicken? No, it's the rice. Start dropping it in. Nice and sticky from that sugar that we added. All right, rice is all added. I'm gonna take that chicken stock. And pour it over the top. There's another nice big dollop of coconut oil. All right, you notice I haven't added the egg yet. I'm about to, as soon as I get this rice broken up and spread out and everything kind of mixed together, then we'll fold the egg in. All right. Drop in the egg and then chop it up right on top of the rice. All right, this is where we start adding some seasonings. We're gonna go black pepper and some more of that accent, more onion powder. I go heavy on it, like I said, garlic powder. A touch more of the cayenne, because we like the heat. Ginger, all the flavorings that I put on the chicken, but, and I have lost my curry powder. There it is. I'm gonna pull a little Chef John here from Food Wishes. Don't be in a hurry when you're trying to find your curry. Get that moving around and start folding. I turn the pan and fold. Push to the side, go the other way. Grab some soy sauce, and this is up to you. I tend to go a little sparingly because it'll be really salty. Bring down the heat. I just really just gonna turn the heat off. Get this spread out nice. And even, give it a taste. I think I'm gonna add a little more butter. Just a few more squares of butter in here. And top it with some sesame seeds. All right, gonna cover it, take it off the heat, let it sit for about 15 minutes to steep in its flavors, and it's dinner time. All right, let's eat. Casey likes to add sriracha to hers. I always add a little extra soy sauce to mine. That's the fried rice recipe. It's easy, it's delicious, it's cheap, goes a long way. Isn't it better than a Chinese restaurant? I think so. <laughs> it's also healthier, not as much salt or fat. So that's gonna do it for today's episode. To the left, you may be one person, back to one person, you may be the one to buy guys. Go be somebody's world. So go be we somebody's don't have to say world. Bad. Hey guys, thanks for watching this episode, and if you aren't a subscriber and you want to become part of the Hopesters, click the logo right here in the little white circle with the purple writing on it. If you want to watch the last episode, check the one over here to the side, and if you want to watch one that YouTube picks for you, then click or tap the one right down there in the corner. And I hope that we see more of you seeing more of us.